Welcome back. A local wife and mother in Yuma is speaking out after losing her husband to ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It takes the lives of thousands of Americans each and every year. I sat down with the family to learn more about the challenges they faced. There's tons of people dying every day from it. And I just think it's not fair. 41-year-old Marcos Torres was a loving husband and father, tragically taken too soon by a fatal disease known as ALS. He got married to his wife, Bethany, in 2007 and was diagnosed about two years ago. He was a really good dad, a hard worker. ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, is described as progressively neurodegenerative, slowly chipping away at your physical capabilities. According to the ALS Foundation, more than 5,000 people in the U.S. are diagnosed with the disease every year. Marcos was given two to five years to live. Oh, and he kept falling and falling all the time and started losing strength little by little. He couldn't work anymore. He couldn't do anything. He eventually lost all control of his bodily functions, including his ability to speak. But the ALS Foundation was able to help Bethany and her family communicate with Marcos through the use of technology. Signal or it catches his eye and it has like a cursor. He first entered the country illegally a few years back before being granted citizenship. But it wasn't easy, a story all too familiar for families who have undergone the trials and tribulations of seeking legal residence in the U.S. It took quite a few years. It was really hard, really expensive. Now with the new administration, Bethany hopes other families don't have to suffer the same fate. I would like it to be easier. I mean, we struggled a whole lot. Bethany is expressing her thanks to the community and the ALS Foundation for their support. And she wants other families to know they're not alone. Don't ever go a day, you know, without letting your loved ones know how much you love them. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help the family. A link can be found on our website at kyma.com. <laughs>